so after login in uh, through your google gmail id uh, this page will pop up and you can write your uh, wiki name here so what i am going to use uh, do today is uh, this i am going to use this uh, syllabus of computer system architecture you can uh, you can use uh, uh, you can go for your own syllabus so uh, computer system architecture so i am going to name it uh, computer system architecture and click on create so create new folder wiki name is computer system architecture and click on create now uh, this window will appear uh, you can organize so this is the uh, where you can invite other people to contribute uh, to this wiki page uh, you can uh, use this or you can click on skip if you don't want that others should contribute to this uh, page and if you want that uh, someone should contribute then just type their email id only gmail id so uh, just type gmail id uh, of that person here and click on invite otherwise uh, for now uh, you can click on skip so uh, this page will appear now you can see this uh, computer system architecture is the wiki page which we have created which we created you can find this in in the google drive also so just click on this to see uh, the whole content there uh, add new is you can add these things here so page sheet slide folder link and uh, upgrade if you want some more features so th uh, this is the free version of uh, you need a wiki page and uh, for if you want some more features and uh, if you want that uh, some more users should be involved uh, in this page then you you will have to upgrade the plan uh, but for now we, we are going to use this free version so you can add content uh, by clicking here or here so both way you can add the contents uh, let's try to add content but uh, before that let's see our syllabus part again so these are our uh, main section introduction data representation basic computer organization and design and these are the sections and uh, in, under this section these are the uh, subtopics or uh, uh, main uh, headings okay subheadings so let's uh, so for that what we are going to use we will add the folder uh, first so create the first folder the first unit name was introduction so introduction uh, th let's add one or two more units data representation so I am going to name the second unit data representation and I will uh, name this uh, computer organization as just uh, uh, basic computer organization and design as uh, computer organization so I am going to add two more folders here so the unit was data representation Okay, let me delete this. So it was under this. Uh, okay, uh, let's add the content here first. So, uh, intro in, the, in the introduction section. Uh, so how to add uh, content here? So we have uh, these three plus one, these four option here so we can add a google doc google sheet or google slide or a website link in our content part so let's try with uh, google doc first so the first unit name 
logic gates the first uh, topic under the first unit was logic gates all right so this is our document logic gates uh, this is a blank document right now so uh, if i if you want to add some content here then you you will have to click on this edit this google doc page will appear where you can add uh, the description about this the logic gates etc et the whatever you want to add and just uh, close this so it you don't have to save it it or uh, it is automatically saved so cross it uh, just click here and there and you will find this uh, definition here so in this way you can add uh, uh, the content part here so uh, again if you want to edit it if you want to add some more uh, part here so you again click on edit and uh, change here and just cross it uh, just uh, refresh this page or just click uh, here and there so you will find the content is updated here so in this way you can add uh, any Google Doc page here now in the similar way uh, if you want to add uh, a sheet Google sheet so just click on sheet and if suppose if you want to provide some data related to it or let's see if there is some part uh, uh, let me say boolean algebra uh, so create now again edit so the sheet will appear here now uh, you can write anything here and just cross it boolean algebra okay uh, reload it okay you can see this data here so in this way you can uh, add a google sheet or google doc and in the similar way you can add uh, Google slide so it's the I think uh, in this case it's if you want to to provide some material in the PowerPoint form then this is uh, the way in which you can pr provide your slides so we have all the three options uh, if you want to it to provide the content in in the uh, w word format in uh, some text uh, form then you use uh, uh, this uh, Google pa uh, pages here and if you want to provide some data kind of thing then use Google sheet and if you want to uh, provide the content in uh, PowerPoint slide form then use this uh, Google slide so let me say let me use this combinational circuits uh, so combinational circuits is a third unit third uh, topic click on create again click on edit this uh, will appear uh, just add some slides and content here let me write cc here only uh, you can add more slides by clicking on this plus button uh, you can add uh, any information 
uh, let's add one more slide okay and then just cross it so this is the slide page so uh, you can just move through the next slide by clicking on this button and you can uh, move backward by using clicking on this one and you can present it uh, just by clicking on this button so it will automatically move so in this way you can add uh, these three type of content uh, these three uh, the contents in the three ways uh, pages google doc google sheet and google slide